The state of the theater is, rather than the state of Broadway is what interests me, and I am, I am, I feel like the luckiest bastard in the world for this reason, that, you know, no matter what people say about the, the, the Elizabethan age as the golden age of playwriting, fuck that, it, you know. <laughs> The Elizabethan age had one great playwright and a lot of pikers, you know, Christopher Marlowe and Ben Johnson, you know, well and good. But forget about it. If you look at theater in English, English and American theater, since Oscar Wilde, it is the most amazing collection of plays since, you know, the fifth century BC it, when Sophocles was, was retyping at three o'clock in the morning. Because if you, I mean, think about it, to go, I'm not talking about second-rate playwrights, I'm talking about first-rate playwrights. From Wilde to O'Neill to, you know, you name them, to um, Wilder, to Miller, to Pinter, to Beckett, to, who totally revolutionized theater, to, you know, Sam Shepard and, and Albee. That is, that is a string of, of masterpieces all in 150 years and we're still going. So I wake up in the morning and I say, what a lucky son of a bitch I am to be a playwright in this age when theater is so, is still so vital, you know, because between Shakespeare and Sheridan, there isn't a play worth doing really, you know, and between Sheridan and Oscar Wilde, there's hardly a play worth doing in English. When you think of all the plays that are gonna survive from the importance of being earnest to today, it is boggling and, um, and thrilling.